My photography is very strongly based on music. I think photography is the reflection of things which already exist in their own right, but they need an artist so that they may be fully seen and understood by man. These worldly things may be in physical form, as the setting moon, or in the form of sound, as ocean breakers pounding on the shore and the rain tinkling down on the gravel. In my work, I would like to impart that impression of sound, music, emotion, or philosophy, whatever you will of that moment when you are on the top of the mountain, standing all by yourself with your camera, that moment's loneliness and exaltation. I would like to impart not just visual sensations, but the third dimension of the visual world. The idea of having this show uh, was born about uh, four years ago when uh, I had the chance to meet uh, uh, the director of the museum, Mimi Gates, and the present curator, Yukiko Shirahara, at the home of Korean Consul General's residence. Uh, shortly after that, I brought up the idea of having my last show at the Seattle Art Museum. The beginning of uh, this story goes way back to 1978 when I had the first show at the Seattle Art Museum, Modern Art Pavilion. So, uh, it has been almost 27 years since I had my first show, which I, as I said, uh, was a very successful show as far as the photography was concerned because it uh, was recognized at as one of the major arts. I've been in Alaska for five years, so oh, I really appreciate your standing freezing water. And oh, yeah. <laughs> just to take a shot, because there was many times when Same I had environment. Here, I get right. And right. It's very nice to see such good crisp pictures. Thank I appreciate you. your work. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy to be here. Hello. Thank you. don't have any particular pre-notion uh, pre as to what I'm going to photograph, but I'm trying to extract from the, uh, the scene itself, the earth, that gives me the uh, energy and, and the inspiration. I stopped, I saw, I caught something in the corner of my eyes and tried to find out what attracted me. And there was a, rain was falling and uh, the rain drops on the blades of the grass and uh, the wavy motion, it, it's just a mundane roadside grass, but I thought, the arrangement it made itself was so beautiful, so I had to stop and photograph. Oftentimes, I photograph something 
that is so ordinary, people don't pay any attention what they are looking at. And I find the beauty in the arrangement themselves make without help of uh, my changing the arrangements uh, are the best as a result of uh, finding the right angle, distance, and uh, how you limit the picture uh, border and so that the picture itself is inviolable. It is a final product and it cannot be, or can be, but uh, not to be cropped. Uh, this is again, you don't have any pre-notion. As you drive by, you see something in your eye and then <clears throat> start to figure out how you can make the picture out of the hair. So uh, when I decide to limit the area you like to include in the picture, that is totally a complete picture that uh, you cannot add or subtract from it. This is it. And the earth is no different in Korea and and in the state of Washington. It's all the same thing, same earth, that we are blessed to have this kind of a... I don't know where these colors came from, but uh, it was really amazing. And it, uh, the way, the flaky nature of the iron and its colors, which was not man p painted by man, but the, uh, I think it is the nature's chemical actions, uh, old paint peel off and the new paint was applied on. And then the exposed metal portion was oxidized by salt and and the uh, air, and this incredible pattern was brought into. And I was so lucky to have found out the elements of nature <clears throat> brought in this texture and color, which I think is simply because it is there, I found it and it's beautiful. This picture is taken at the Sherman Pass, which is in the extreme northeast part of the state of Washington. And Sherman Pass is famous for its height. Uh, it is the highest part of the uh, Washington highway system uh, that you can travel in your car. And when I came to this part, uh, I was lucky to be able to see the green uh, grass that is uh, starting out. It might have been uh, all life, lifeless uh, without green, but I was lucky to have this. Uh, usually, I never crop when I photograph one picture. But this time it is a, uh, impossible without cropping. So uh, cropping in mind, I made this composition. And all the other pictures in exhibition is this is the only exception, and all the rest of the pictures are exactly the same size that I saw in the ground glass, and uh, absolutely no addition or, or uh, 
deduction from the picture area. This is uh, uh, what Ansel Adams say, pre-visualization. I pre-visualized the final picture on my ground glass and that is inviolable. It, once you make the picture, there is no cropping. The significance of this picture probably is because this is the last picture that I have taken back in 2005 in Korea. And uh, probably this will be the last work that I have done in my life. Uh, when I photographed this, uh, found the, the cherry blossoms in, the, uh, in this valley in Korea. Uh, I was 86 years old and I don't think I will continue <laughs> to lug around the camera equipment and photographing. Sometimes people call, tell me that this is just like picture and I take a kind of insult because why it has to be like a picture to be honored and recognized as a work of art. I think that photography has its own strength and no one else can do like this kind of a detail. You cannot compete with the photography. Photography is an independent art and very powerful. And uh, I like to point out to people that photography is good because it's photography, not because it looks like a, a picture or painting. The camera in display here is made in Switzerland called Sinar. And the first half is Sinar Expert 4x5 and attachment of 8x10 makes the complete camera when you want to use 8x10 format. This camera I have acquired back in 1957 uh, and ever since I've been using until today and uh, it, it will go on forever.